G'day guys, Mickey here. One of the more modern features you may want to implement into your next bubble build, uh, whether you're building a dashboard or a platform, is to have a light and dark mode option um, for the user experience to be able to switch between these two modes. Uh, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can uh, create that feature within your next build. So I'm going to dive in and show you how you can do that quite easily. Okay, the first thing you want to do is just create a uh, toggle or an element uh, that will give the user the ability to switch between light and dark mode. Now to do that we just go into our data under user and we create a new field called dark mode. And we just set that to a yes or no value. Okay, so we can default that to no. Then on our element we just want to auto bind that to our dark mode field. So you just might have to switch on auto binding under privacy settings. Now the next thing we want to do is create a couple of option sets. Now I've already created a dark mode and a light mode option set. Basically all you have to do is create an attribute called color and then name your uh, different color palette. Um, options here. So we've got text, our header, our group, our background and our left menu. And if you click on modify, you just put in the color um, the color palette number into your um, option set and that will load it on the front end of your application. Okay, so now all we need to do is go and create some more data types under the user, which is going to be our text our header our group and our left menu okay so when the user switches on dark mode, we're going to update these fields uh, with the value from our option sets. So to do that we go to our uh, backend workflows. I've just created some here but I'll just create them again for you. So basically you just go to new database trigger and we're going to call this dark mode and we're going to say when before dark mode was no and now dark mode is yes so basically saying that when the toggle is switched we're going to up make changes to the user now's database which is going to update these values so background user get options dark mode background set to a color attribute and we do that for the rest group header left menu and text we can duplicate this to do the opposite. So when dark mode is yes and now it is no, we're going to update it with our light mode values. Okay, so now the only thing we have to do is update our groups and our elements. So for example, our left menu will be current users left menu color. Our icons are the same as our text fields.
Now also in dark mode, we just want to remove the border styling and the shadows. So our header for our dark mode is yes. We're just going to remove our drop shadows because um, it looks better in dark mode if there are drop shadows or alternatively you can update the different color shadings uh, to match your design or user interface. With our logo, we want to say when our dark mode is no, we're displaying the dark version and the light version of our logo. And we just jump over to our group in here just so we can show you what that will look like. So this is going to be our group. And our background. When dark mode is yes, remove the styling. We can keep that one there. Update our icons. Text. Okay, let's have a look what that looks like. Okay, so we just need to fix our background to be dark mode, current user background. And our header to be our current user's header. We can also change any any fields. So this is just an example for a search search box. We're going to go and change this to our group and our icon can be our text. And our text field here. Okay. So we have our light mode version. And we can switch over to our dark mode version. Now, a great reason to use option sets is because if you want to do different color modes or different color palettes or themes or anything like that, if you're going to create templates, um, you're going to duplicate applications and you want to update the branding, um, it's a lot easier to update your option sets than go in and individually change your styles or, or manually change uh, any of your elements. Um, so for example, I've got um, a blue theme here, um, so our left menu, our background, group. And our header. Okay, so now if I reload our preview, so we have our light mode and then our dark mode loads our blue um, color palette that we've created. So it's a very um, simple way to have the user be able to change the color palette. Um, it's quite quick to load because you're not um, running conditions on every single element. It's just pulling those main um, color palettes from the user database. And if you're duplicating, like I said before, if you're duplicating applications or if you're creating um, a uh, app that you're going to duplicate for different clients and you just want to quickly be able to upload their branding or their color scheme, it's a very easy way to do that. And that's it. We're a brand new channel. so. 
If you like this tutorial, make sure that you hit like and subscribe for more tutorials that will be coming out. Uh, should be trying to do one to two a week. Um, if yeah, if you like this, uh, make sure you leave a comment. Let us know what you're working on. Uh, if you've got any questions, I'm happy to help. Thanks for watching.